Today we're going to talk about uh, harnessing and uh, driving a horse and we're going to go through the procedures of how to properly put the harness on and how to take it off and uh, answer a bunch of questions people uh, frequently have about hitching a horse. Now by no means are we experts at this but we have done quite a bit of it here. Um, so to get started I want to introduce you to um, one of our horsemen here at Windy Hill Farm, Malin. And uh, Malin is here, uh, and his, one of his purposes is in duties is to drive our horses. So Malin's an old farm boy, and he grew up on the farm, and he knows how to get a day's work done with a team of horses, and um, he does very well driving our horses. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, first of all, we're gonna talk about um, the different types of harness that um, it's like a carpenter's toolbox. I say all the time, you got different tools for different purposes. Um, you got to know what tools to use, when, and and what for. Um, so what we have here is the different ways you put a collar on a horse, and and these are what you call the tugs or the traces that you hook to the buggy. Well, this is what we would call a breast collar that would fit around the horse's sh shoulders. Okay, and this is a collar. So frequently you'll see horses like the hitch horses, like the Clydesdales and all, they'll have big collars and hanes that stick up. Well, a collar is more for heavy duty work, pulling heavy loads. And that collar lays on that horse's shoulders here. If you look right here, it'll lay on these shoulders and it'll put even pressure on that horse's shoulders when it's pulled. So your traces will come down at the angle of my stick and it will pull. And the breast collar will hook and go around the front of the shoulder. Now if you pull a heavy load with this breast collar, what I don't like about that is it's pulling right against this sh shoulder joint right here. And over a long period of time and over a lot of weight that could uh, be to your disadvantage. Okay, so if you're doing heavy work like pulling a plow or um, if you're pulling a wagon or say even a cart with multiple people in it, I would use a call. Okay, if you're recreational use, just schooling and you know, uh, maybe going just a couple miles with maybe one or two people in a cart, I think this is just fine. Now out here where we live is Amish country and I'd say on the driving horses 95% of the horses will use this breast collar and they get along fine. But you just got to be careful you don't put too much weight and too much pressure on that front shoulder. Alright, so now what we're going to do is Malin is going to harness our little halflinger here um, with the collar first to show you how to properly fit the collar and how to uh, put the collar on and then we'll go ahead and do the uh, press collar next. Mm -hmm. 